Keegan Kogan, Man Cave Classroom in 810, and we're uh, going to be analyzing some more documents. I found this one that we can use definitely with, uh, with our students um, of the U.S. History Regents. Um, this one's great. You know, looking at this a couple of times, I can't tell you how many things I, I see in here that have to do with the time period, uh, which are going to be great that it reveals. But um, right away, this is coming from Jane Addams. So, you know, hopefully you know something about her. I was glad to get a great article about on her where, you know, this was a, a little girl that, you know, grew up pretty wealthy and mm -hmm. wanted to help out the poor. Yeah. Um, and you know, She is the mother of social work. Yeah, I was you know, she, she is, like, considered the founding social worker, like George Washington is to our country. She is to social work. So let's see what she had to say on this one. It is easy for even the most conscientious citizen of Chicago to forget the foul smells of the stockyards and the garbage dumps when he is living so far from them that he is only occasionally made conscious of their existence. But the residents of a settlement are perforce of, necess of necessity, excuse me, constantly surrounded by them. During our first three years on Halston Street, we had established a small incinerator, also known as a garbage burner, at Hull House we had many times reported the untoward, difficult conditions of the wards of the city hall. We also arranged many talks for the immigrants, pointing out that although a woman may sweep her own doorway in her native village and allow the refuse to innocently decay in the open air and sunshine, in a crowded quarter, if the garbage is not properly collected and destroyed, a tenement house mother may see her children sicken and die, and that the immigrants must therefore not only keep their own houses clean, but must also help the authorities to keep the city clean. Wow. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about Hull House for a second. Sure, what is it? Hull House is a settlement house. Yep. Is a, um, she bought an old mansion, mansion yep. and turns it into a community center. A settlement house is really a community center. A place where poor and impoverished people could come, um, get some food, get a shower if they need be, um, take classes on how to speak English. Uh, there's a child care center uh, were there as well, so immigrant mothers could drop their kids off and go work, um, make money for their family. You know, but that's not the main, the in, main in terms of her legacy, what in this is yeah. about. In terms of her legacy, that's what you see certain communities do yeah. as well. Um, but yeah, again, when you're talking about the immigrants, um, I'm sorry, I cut you off. No, go ahead. Um, you know, when you look here, it's, it's mentioned quite a bit where you have immigrants there and you're talking about on um, the education that they need. That, um, yes, that, that's, that's what I get out of this. That, you know, okay, you're from Ireland. We're, we're, we're both Irish, you know, maybe our great grandparents would sweep the house and throw all the remnants and, and even the, um, the bedpan out the front door. Yeah. And then the beautiful sunshine of, of the hills of Ireland and the fresh air, the smell is there for maybe 15 minutes and it's gone. And the, possibly the rain would wash right. it away. You know, but your old world ways are not gonna work in a city. That's flat. That's flat. That is paved. That isn't going to absorb down to the earth. That and we and we talk about like how Native Americans tried to acculturate, tried to hold on to many of their old world ways while they tried to blend in and assimilate into America. Well, she's basically saying these immigrants needed to learn that your old world ways of cleaning are not going to work in a city. And and it's going to contribute to yeah. Your children then getting sick yeah. because the this garbage that's going to pile up there, all right, is going to invite rodents, rats, disease. and even the old world learned that you know yeah. during the plague. Right, that's one of the main reasons why the plague bro out, uh, broke out being right. in these cities of Italy. Now the thing is that you know now we're looking at Chicago. Um, if we're looking at time period here, you know we're now like late eighteen hundreds, mm -hmm. where you're having this influx of immigrants coming into the United States, um, settling in cities. Um, settling in apartments. And again, you know, when you're looking at apartments, um, I think they even mentioned it here, the tenement. it, these, these tenements, um, these small tenements where you had as many as six to seven, you know, there's this Jacob Reese photos that come to mind where you had like six to seven people living in one room. I'm glad you brought up Jacob Reese because I'm also thinking of another muckraker yeah. in, in Upton Sinclair. Yep. You know, this the slaughterhouses, the yep. slaughterhouses of Chicago, you know, and what was being done with all of those carcasses and uh, yeah, it just this is just this is just a snapshot of the lack of sanitation. It that makes me place glad to be alive today. Yes, you know, as as much as I will like make fun of my children when they get in my car after sure. soccer practice or basketball practice, and the body odor is awful. Of course, it pales in comparison 
to what Chicago would have smelled like at the turn of the 20th century. And, and the thing is, is that, you know, during the late 1800s, you know, you're bringing up muckrakers like Upton Sinclair, and we're talking about Jacob. These are, these are people who are bringing these problems uh, to, light. to light. They're bringing it to their attention. Um, so when you're looking at the progressive form, reform era, you know, it often works with the way the, the units usually go is that, you know, here's the problem, and then there mm -hmm. were people who uh, brought in about or bringing it to people's uh, attention to get the change. Just, she, just even calling it progressive reform, reform era. Yes, progress. she is the reformer. Yeah, progress she's to make progress, yep. reform to change. Changes she's, to make progress. She's that change yeah. agent. And when it comes to that change, you know, again, you know, there's, there's lots of things when people identify problems, they, they say that education is a big piece to it. But, you know, people don't like to say, oh, well, if you educate the public on certain things, you know, that doesn't always do anything. And there's, there's usually not a number to show a return on your investment or a return on the results right. on that in terms of how it's going to improve society. But what she's doing, she is, in fact, uh, educating immigrants at this whole house on how to keep um, the areas clean in particular. Um, other things that Hull House did that you brought up, you know, this was, you know, kindergarten comes out of this. Um, child care, helping immigrants, of course, um, find jobs. This was also a, a place where people could socialize, learn English. Um, anything else we're missing with this one? No. no. I've got a feeling there's a question, though. Not yet. Okay. But wait, there's more. Oh. Ah. Oh. First settlement house. So here's the thing, you know, uh, is this the only city that's experiencing this? No. No. Um, you know, Chicago is a major city. New York City is another one, I think. So, could other cities or towns or states benefit from what she's doing? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So that's the first social, uh, uh, that first Hull House that gets set up. And of course, you know, other people are going to copy what she did. Um, this is going to establish the first public playground in Chicago. Establish the first citizenship preparation classes in the U.S. Establish the first college extension courses in Chicago. Initiated investigations for the first time in Chicago of truancy, typhoid fever, cocaine, children's reading, newsboys, sanitation, tuberculosis, midwifery, infant mortality, social value of the saloon. Initiated investigations that led to creation and enactment of first factory laws in Illinois. Initiated investigations that led to creation of first model tenement code. First Illinois factory inspector, Hull House resident, uh, Florence Kelly. And of course, I'm sure this list can go on change. and on. Yeah, change, change, change. reform, change, establish, establish. You know, all of these things are going to help society, are gonna help these communities. So, let's see, you know, we got source, I don't, let's see what kind of question we're gonna get. Um, this was a constructive response. Oh, kind of gotcha, I okay. So, based on these documents, state two ways Whole House attempted to improve conditions in Chicago. Well, we already said sanitation. Yep. Um, the teaching classes for citizenship, you know, turning 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 immigrants into citizens, well, teaching them English. You do have to pass a English exam to be uh, become a citizen of the United States. Uh, positive changes. I mean, I'm seeing many different diseases. Sure. Drugs. Type. Alcohol. Yep. Um, sanitation. Yeah. It, it's tenement, Old, building codes. Tenement sure. codes. Factory these, laws. These are common problems that often go with with poverty. Yeah. You know, you can eat first thing. Now they this hints of it here. Yeah. Definitely, but you know, of course it's always nice when they provide you with a list. Yeah, they do. <laughs> All right, good. Anything else on this one? Negative. Good. Thanks for watching.